the Hercules was the first motorbike to go into production with a Wankel engine. In the early models, the engine was lubricated using a two-stroke fuel. This was eventually changed to an oil injector in later models. Continue watching the video to learn more interesting facts. Between 1974 and 1976, around 1,800 motorcycles were sold under the Hercules name. The exhaust is positioned on the right side of the cylinder, then it goes over the engine and then runs on the left side of the motorcycle to the back. Hercules created a few off-road motorbikes that were popular at the time, and they were also available in America. But Hercules dirt bikes are extremely rare because they were not mass-produced. The crankshaft was positioned nearly vertically, likely to allow for a shorter wheelbase and better coolant ability. While the engine appears to be a standard two-stroke, a closer inspection reveals his wankel. The 1974 Hercules street motorcycle used the Wankel engine. Very interesting motorcycle but also very rare. Felix Wankel was born in 1902 in Germany. At the age of 17, he already had visions of his engine. He started working on Wankel engine with making prototypes. During World War II, Wankel developed seals and rotary valves for German Air Force. Working with Air Force he got great experience to continue on his engine prototype. First running engine prototype was on February 1957. At that time, his engine had many advantages compared to other piston engines. The Wankel engine began to be used in Mazda cars. The engine was used successfully by Mazda in several generations of their RX series. Wankel became a success in business around the world. Wankel engines were first mass-produced for motorcycles in 1974. For the Hercules Street model, this model had an air-cooled engine with a single rotor, which had previously been used in snowmobiles. In production, the engine used a BMW gearbox, but a 5-speed gearbox and chain. Suzuki also used the Wankel engine from 1974 to 1976, however the design changed over time. As a result, Wankel's art is almost unrecognizable now. The parts of the Wankel engine are shown here. At first glance, it appears quite confusing and complex, but with time and attention, you will realize that the engine is very simple. 